Okay. Show me. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dutch RC channel for part four in our Gap RC 4 inch light quadcopter build. Now, in the previous video, I, we added a 4 in 1 ESC, a Racer Star ESC. And uh, yes, I uh, haven't uh, put an uh, XC60 connector on the battery leads yet. I haven't decided how long I want to make them. But uh, well, that's not important now. In this video, we will be adding uh, motors to our quadcopter and propellers and we'll also bench test that combination. So the motors and propellers, see if they stack up to their specifications. Now in the description of this video there is a list of all the components uh, uh, I'll be using on this uh, build. Uh, have a look. And uh, obviously there is also a link to the motors, the T motors I'll be using. Um, yeah, have a look at the specs and uh, we'll see if they live up to those specs. So here are our motors. They are T motors or Tiger motors. And as you can see I've got five of them. In general when ordering things for a quadcopter I tend to um, order uh, them in, uh, in fives to have one spare. Uh, if one fails in a crash or something, if uh, one of the shafts bends um, I've got a spare on head, so um, yeah, obviously we'll only be needing four. And these are 1806 motors, so the rotor diameter is uh, 18 millimeters, which is smaller than uh, you'd uh, be used to uh, for quad uh, mini quadcopters. In general, you'd be using uh, 22 or 23 millimeter diameter stators. They are 1806 though, so the height of the stator is uh, a normal size, actually a little uh, higher than uh, uh, generally used for uh, mini quads. And they are 2800 kV, yes. So um, that's a pretty high kV number. Now to start out with, I've uh, planned to fly this quadcopter on 3S. 4S might be on the edge of what's uh, possible, uh, especially for the ESCs. Uh, they are 20 amp ESCs. Uh, by the way, there are links down below in the description to all the components I'll be using in, uh, in this quadcopter. And um, yeah, have a look at the specs again uh, of these motors. And I'm sure you'd agree that 4S, hmm, yeah. Uh, we'll just see how that works out. And yeah, let's uh, take a closer look at these motors. Okay, so a predominantly black motor with a uh, goldish uh, sticker around them. Uh, yes, so uh, they have hollow shafts as you can see here. Um, I'm glad about that. Uh, that works out uh, better in general. They don't uh, bend or snap as easily as uh, solid shafts. Now they do have a C-clip uh, securing the shaft to the bottom. Um, in general on these hollow shafts you'd see a screw on the bottom. <coughs> the C-clip does run free from the bearing though. So. Um, it doesn't scrape up the bearing. That looks pretty nice. Um, the windings, um, yes, what uh, shall I say about the windings? They uh, look consistent and hand wound um, looks good to me. Now, is there any play in the bearing? No, not at all. And what do the bearings feel like? Okay, that feels good. Motor 2, no play at all, that's nice. And this bearing feels identical, very nice so far. Third motor, no play at all, nice. And this bearing feels identical as well. Cool, fourth motor, and 
no play at all. Very nice. Huh. Okay. And this bearing also feels identical. Huh. This is, uh, by the way, the first time uh, I'm getting my hands on T motors or Tiger motors so far. No play at all. And feels the same as well. Okay. Um, consistency feels alright. With the propellers on, I'll also check the bearings again. And let's see, oh yeah, the motors do come with one prop nut. And they don't come as uh, counterclockwise and clockwise, these motors, which is good. No counter and clockwise nonsense with these motors. And you get four screws with these uh, motors to secure them down to your frame. Okay, and let's see, yeah, let's strap one down to a uh, bench and see what they perform like. Here we go. So there you have it, we've got our motor strapped to uh, the test bench, propeller on and we're gonna run a test. I'm uh, only going to be testing it on uh, 3S as I'm planning to fly this quadcopter on 3S. I, <laughs> I have run this motor on 4S with this propeller and it got a little warm. Um, it still uh, works fine but uh, yeah. Uh, 4S, maybe with another propeller, but uh, okay, let's get the show on the road. Okay, I've obviously zoomed in uh, to the screen so you can see what's going on. And uh, let's see, scale on, it's set to zero. Power meter on, and here we go. Okay, um, hmm, this is a bit uh, stupid really. It does look like I've uh, managed to uh, screw up this uh, one motor <laughs> with my 4S test. Because uh, this time I only got to 600 grams. And in my previous tests I got to 725 grams at um, 18 amps. Only 18 amps. So yeah. Um, I'm sorry I uh, wasn't able to show that to you, but again, I got to uh, 725 grams at 18 amps, and I'll put the figures on screen right now, what that uh, comes down to. Okay, so uh, yeah, damn, uh, I had uh, one spare motor, but uh, maybe I'll just uh, order up an extra motor uh, right away, just to be sure. Uh, let's see. So. Um, We've got 725 grams per motor of uh, frost, static frost, times four, obviously. And what would that be? Uh, 2,900 grams, a little more than 2,900 grams. Almost three kilos. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what will the weight of our quadcopter be, right? Um, I'm hoping, planning for uh, somewhere between 350 and 400 grams. So let's say it's, uh, it comes down to uh, 375 grams, exactly in the middle. And um, with uh, 2900 uh, and something uh, grams of thrust, that would mean we'd have a thrust to weight ratio of 7.7. .7. Is that correct? Yeah, I think. And if I'm doing the calculations correctly, 7.7. .7. And that is pretty good. And so by now we uh, definitely know our quadcopter will fly. And um, yeah, that's a good thing, of course. Oh, and uh, let's uh, cut back to the quadcopter itself. So I can uh, show you what it looks like with motors on it. Okie dokie, so there is our uh, GAP RC AX4 4 inch quadcopter with motors and uh, ESC from the previous video. Uh, I've soldered the motors to the ESCs already as well. Uh, I have not strapped them down with tie wraps or, uh, or tape yet. I first want to see if they spin the right way around. And yeah, these motors, these motors, they are a little smaller than I'd ordinarily use. 
I'd ordinarily use uh, 22 uh, millimeter motors. These are 18 millimeter motors, but they don't look out of place. They don't look uh, far too small, in my opinion. And we already know that uh, we'll have uh, a power a thrust to weight ratio of 7.7, uh, .7. so it'll get off the ground with a good amount of, sp of speed. That's very nice. So let's see. Yeah, in the next video we'll be adding a flight controller to our quadcopter, and um, yeah, then it should be able to fly already. Um, this time around I'll also be adding the FPV system right away before doing any flight testing. So um, hold on for that. I hope to be able to uh, show you my video on the flight controller as well. Uh, that will be a bit more detailed on uh, the how to's, how to uh, install that flight controller. So yeah, coming right up. For now I want to thank you for watching. And hope to catch you on the next video. Bye bye.